Hi, welcome to Art Lessons at Home with the Art Groupies. Roz here is the Art Groupie that we're going to work with today and develop some great new art habits. Roz is all about reflection and she looks closely at her artwork and those of others. How can I make my art better? How can I retrace my steps thinking backwards to develop a good habit? Roz is always reflecting, not only at the end of her project, but she's also reflecting as she's working. We're going to be working today with a famous artist named Friedrich Hudenwasser. He's a contemporary painter who is greatly influenced by his beliefs that there are no straight lines in nature. He loves color. I don't know why it's taken so long for me to find him because he is just amazing. So our project today at home is going to be with oil pastels, a black and a white one. Now if you don't have oil pastels, you can use crowns. If you don't have crowns, a black pen or pencil will just be perfect. Now, if you don't have any watercolor paints, no worries. I'm sure if you look in your kitchen cabinets, you can probably find some water color, food coloring rather. I put some food coloring along with some water in a little egg crate. And then I mix some of the colors together to make more colors. So we just have primary colors with green in our food coloring container, but if I mixed red and blue together, I'll make a nice rich purple, and if I mix red and yellow together, I'll make a nice orange. Now, some of the colors, I didn't add any water to make for a deeper red, and some of the colors that I added more water to, you'll notice are like a light pink, not as a deep red that we would get without adding a lot of water. So Hudenwasser was all about spirals. So this project today is going to be all about spirals. So I'm going to take my black pastel and I'm going to start in the middle of the paper. I'm going to press hard because the harder I press, the more my paint will resist the pastel and that line will be seen no matter how much paint I use. But I gotta press hard. And if I run off and have no paper, I just continue on all the way around, like my line's still going. So I fill in my paper with a spiral. Now, I'm gonna take my white pastel and I'm gonna follow the leader. So I'm gonna go right back in there where I started next to my black line and I'm going to take my white pastel and I'm going to follow the leader all the way around pressing hard just like I did with the black pastel. This design also makes me think of a famous artist Georgie O'Keeffe who made her flowers so big and beautiful with lots of color. Go all the way around till I fill in all my spaces. There we go. Now I'm ready to start painting. So I have my paintbrush. I have a nice container of water because I want to keep my paints nice and clean. I have a paper towel. I'm going to start I think with some blue. I'm going to start in the middle I'm going to move my water around and you can see that white line coming through that is resisting my watercolor paints or my food coloring paints I should say. Grab some green, follow that line around, maybe I'll get some of that purple I made. Follow that around. I'm going to snag some 
some of that red. Blend some of that red with that purple. Now, like I said, we're painting here with the habit of reflection. And as Roz would work, she'd be thinking, okay, am I liking what's happening here? Do I like how pure that red is? Maybe I'll mix in some more blue and make for a nicer purple. Make it blend a little bit more together. Maybe add some yellow into that color. Or maybe I don't like that color at all. I'm going to stick with some blue. A little bit more blue. And ooh, look at that. Blends in with my yellow just nicely to make a pretty green. I like that blue. Keep bringing that in. And again, if I just use the blue without the water, that food dye without the water, it's rich and powerful. That's some of the orange I made. here. Mixing that yellow and that blue makes a pretty green, most fluorescent. Make a darker green over here in my corner. Mix those two together with some yellow. Friedrich Hudenwasser, famous contemporary artist. It's from Austria loved nature, believed that there are no straight lines in nature, so therefore there shouldn't be any straight lines in his art. So there we go. Friedrich Hudenwasser Spiral. Again, reflecting with Roz. Anything I could do to make this design a little bit better? Perhaps. Maybe going in here and sucking up some of this paint so I don't have puddles of water. And ooh, look at that. Making some texture and making that design even more interesting. There we go. I think maybe I need to add some more in the middle. Add some of that yellow and that green. It was so pretty throughout it. There we go. Maybe put some blue on the outskirts. Some of that pure blue. All right. So, thanks for joining us. Me and the art groupies. Working with Friedrich Hudenwasser. Again, we worked on our famous art groupie, Roz, here. Roz is all about reflecting. So don't be afraid to join us again. Again, Roz and reflecting with Art Lessons at Home.